Okay, so, um, the other week, I think at this point now, um, I was just going through the eShop just like, um, well actually I was actually showing off like, um, I'm not showing off but showing, um, my watch list, uh, um, just like, just, sh just like, um, showing the, some games to like a staff member that works here. Um, just showing her like um, different games I have on my watch list and how much they can cost. So like uh, Play Inc. eleven ninety nine. Where games like um, Wolfenstein. Yeah, there we go. There, there is Wolfenstein costs more money, and you can see there. Um, it just went to the left. Well, that's that happened as well. Um, when I was sharing this software. And it, um, yeah, my left Joy-Con is drifting. Um, and see, seeing how this is a launch day, Nintendo Switch, I'd say that's not too bad. And um, being how it just like started drifting at like the beginning of this month, pretty much. Um, yeah, there we go. I, I, w I couldn't even have pushed left there because I've got my thumb like on the bottom part of um on the bottom part of the thumbstick so I couldn't have like guess I could but it's not accidentally at least um so yeah it is drifting a little bit I'm, I'm gonna use the d-pad now to move yeah I'm moving up and down I'm not gonna press left on the d-pad at all um, if I had my camera on, I would um, put, if I could, you know, sync up my camera with this, I would put it there. But, yeah, it, um, it's not super bad drift because it's only on occasions. Um, and I think it's only when I'm using the thumbstick, maybe, where it'll start drifting. But, yeah, it is starting to drift a bit, and... It's mildly annoying. I mostly notice this when I'm playing in handheld mode. Um, but as to why I'm not super peeved about this, um, if I just go to uh, my profile quickly, um, Smash Bros Ultimate played for 210 hours. Minecraft 690 hours. Um, Civilization 5, 65 hours. Um, Stardew Valley played for 325 hours. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu played for 515 hours. And um, if I go here, I and uh, if I... Um, I'm using D-pad so I don't think it'll... Uh, hopefully it won't drift. Um... Uh, it might be a bit higher if I find Minecraft Switch Edition. Here we go. If I just like... Oh, I have to download. Uh, I'm not going to bother downloading it, but I've played a lot more Minecraft um, Nintendo Switch Edition. Uh, and it won't appear on here, probably because I've not got the stuff downloaded. Uh, but I think Minecraft Switch Edition um, has, e has, a has more than... Uh, Minecraft Bedrock. But yeah. Um, it is. Um, not, not that much of a problem because I have uh, recently been using my, um, third party controllers more. Like I've got, um, a normal, like, uh, uh it's like a pro controller but it's wired. I can't remember what the name of it is. And I've got a wired GameCube controller like thing that I'm also used to like that's the uh like Pro Controller one and then this is the GameCube one. So yeah, and then I've got another controller coming on the twenty seventh, which yeah, look out for the um review for that. But yeah, hold on, I wasn't pressing uh, I drift a little bit there. Yeah, I just like switching these out. And it's not switching over now. 
Yeah, I know, I'm switching now. But anyway, um, so I'm not I'm not upset to, about my joy con switching because they they lasted a long time. Like, I've known people who uh, I've heard of people like um, whose joy cons start drifting like a few months after they got them, and it's just like yeah, at that point I'd be miffed. But no, um, the fact that these have lasted about two and a half years is it now, or is it three and a half? Uh, about two. Two and a half to three and a half years, depending on like when it released, because I can't remember, exa remember exactly how long it will ago it released. Uh, bearing that in mind, yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not really upset. But um, something that's odd, I'll show you in well uh, in a second for you. I have to set this all up, but um, there's another odd glitch with my right Joy-Con, which yeah, I'll show you that right now. Okay, so um. We're here, I'm using um, my webcam to show this off. For some reason, that Joy-Con is showing one less light than it should do. And it's not just like that light's gone out, like if I, or it's turned off, like look. I'm using it, uh, controllers, uh, not controllers, I want to go into settings. Um. Controller and sensors. Uh, calibrate control stick. No, still no light. As you can see. So yeah, um, and not only that. But say I went into controllers, uh, change grip and order, and say I had one of my other controllers on that, and then I hook these two up, it only shows one light rather than two. Well, you can see that it's the same one there. And then uh, let's do it again. We'll have the other two connected, and then pair these two up. Now it's only showing two lights instead of three, which is a bit odd. I know what is causing this um, to do that. Um, I'll try updating the controllers. Uh, the Joy Cons, but um, controller um, update controllers. Yeah, it should be three, but it's only two, which is odd. I'm gonna put that there on top on top of my pile of money. Yeah, you can see it's still got two, and it's gone off. So when that goes to 100%, yeah, still two. So it's not an update problem. So, I don't know. If you guys have any idea what that's about, then tell me, but uh, it's just a bit... It's not really anything game-breaking, or it doesn't really change anything, it's just odd. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye! And now I have...